What I'm going to show in this video is how having different minimum minor fees set across a network, having uh, disparities between the two, can create easy double spend opportunities. Uh, and we're going to do this one. This is actually possible right now very, very easily so we can show it graphically, which I think is important so that people can really understand this on uh, on Dash right now. So all that we're going to start out with is just Block Cipher, which is very, very popular uh, public explorer for many coins. Dash is one of them. And then the main insight.dash.org, the main explorer for Dash. So we just have both of those open. What we're going to do is we're actually going to manually push transactions, raw transactions. Uh, we're going to take a look at them first. So the first one that we're going to take a look at is the transaction that has a fee. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to send two transactions into the network. One has a fee and one doesn't, but they're spending the same money. So it's the uh, same input. You see this input here that starts with 495366 on this. This transaction is the one with the fee. It's got a 300 Satoshi fee, which is perfectly fine to handle this. This is less than 300 um, bytes in size, and there's a one Satoshi per byte fee to get to most of the network. So you see the address is here that it'll send out to XUE as a start and XAPZ. That's going to be the change. Okay, so that's the one with the fee. Then what we have, I'm going to put in here the basically the same transaction. I'm not going to double spend it back to myself. I'm going to double spend it to the same address just to be a nice guy. This is, a again, the hash is 495. The fees, though, in this case, you see zero, zero fee. Uh, and same address as XUE and XAPZ. So what we have to do first is we have to broadcast this zero fee transaction, we broadcast this to BlockCypher. Because BlockCypher, unlike the rest of the network, uh, BlockCypher's got their minimum fee set at zero. And this is the, this is the exploit. It's finding the, the major place in the network, uh, particularly if it's a non-mining node, but that is queried often, and sending out, so I'm gonna send out this no fee onto the Dash network right now via Block Cipher. So right now, I if I'm only querying Block Cipher, it appears that here is a transaction. It's got zero fees. It's got pretty low confidence and, uh, and uh, minor value here, minor preference. Uh, you can see here it is, but it's, it's valid. Zero confirmation so far. So here's the transaction though. Let's get this transaction hash. And then let's see if it's been propagated throughout the network, which it should be at this point. So we go to Dash. We uh, copy it in. No matching records found. Well, let's try it again. Maybe it just has not propagated yet. Maybe that's the issue. We've got still no matching records found. Try it one last time. No matching records found. So if someone is querying the main Dash insight at this point, that input has not yet been spent, which means I can now go and I can broadcast that same transaction yet with a fee, like we already saw, a valid uh, above the minor minimum. I can take a look at this transaction now on the Dash Explorer and you see there it is. Perfectly fine. Let's see what happens if I look at it, that same transaction I just did on Block Cipher, warning. This transaction has been double spent by this. Be extremely careful when accepting this transaction. Here's a double spend. This was completely non-technical. Anyone could have done this. So were the merchant to be looking at Block Cipher, in that time that it took me, the merchant would have already, it would have came up on their point of sale as saying, yep, it's paid. I would have walked out with my merchandise and then I could have just sent this transaction over. Now, Dash con confirms very quickly. Let's just refresh this. We see we've got one confirmation. Here's where it gets super crazy. So the merchant thinks that they have this confirmation or thinks that they have this uh, zero conf because Dash can do zero conf. They, they go back, but now they go to look after one confirmation and no transaction found with that hash. It has vanished from Block Cipher.
completely vanished as though it never existed. Now, we can still go on Block Cipher and look at the legitimate hash, but in most cases, we look at the legitimate hash and it tells us this transaction has been double spent, but in most cases, the merchant's never going to have access to that. So this shows just how vulnerable zero conf is if there are differing rules across the network. This is why it's so very important that there is this level of continuity if we want to have zero conf. And if we're going to start taking a level of continuity away uh, by adding in you know, lower fees than is accepted across most of the network or even by the major players, uh, particularly in BCH, we really do threaten zero conf. But this is just to show that this is not even a technical, a very difficult technical solution and something that can be done right now. So it's something to be very, very well aware of. I do hope actually that Block Cipher fixes this. They're probably not the only ones who have it like this. So something to be well aware of. That's it.